from our report, basically there are three major findings, although there are other ones as well. I mean, the first one is that 55% of people feel that nature has not been incorporated into their work environment. It's not there. There's not good light, there's no color, there's no natural materials inside the work environment. That's really interesting. The science shows, however, that if you incorporate nature in, if it's there, it has an impact, an impact on productivity, on well-being, on job satisfaction, on motivation. And the big companies, they're all doing it. The successful companies, I'm not going to name them, but the big ones in IT and elsewhere, have changed their environments in a way that communes with nature and gives people, de-stresses people, motivates them, and motivates them to want to come to work and be there and produce. The second major finding from the study was that color is very important in the work environment. I think all of us really know that. But what we found across all eight European countries was green, because it represents greenery and nature, uh, yellow, because it's autumnal and people that's really relaxing, and, and blue, because it's water. And so those three were main, but were the main kind of colors that motivated people, distressed them, made them more relaxed. But the interesting thing we found in here was that gray didn't. Gray in, in a number of countries, not all the countries, but in, in a number of the countries was a demotivator and didn't make them feel kind of comfortable and was more stressful for them. The third most significant finding, I think, uh, was to do with the fact that although 33% of the people said that, you know, that nature or the way the work environment was actually designed was an important factor in deciding to go work for the company. But that means 67% of people, two out of three people, said it didn't influence them. Um, it's interesting because the science actually shows that this is a, these factors, these biophilic factors, are very significant factors in productivity, in sickness absence rates, in creativity, and a range of outcome measures that are critical to most companies. So the interesting thing is people are, in my view, very unconscious of exactly how the environment affects them. But boy, does it affect them. And all leading businesses know it affects them. And that's why they design it. And that's what we have to do is try to encourage more architects, more designers to think about these biophilic factors because they are critical to the bottom line. This is not soft, fuzzy social science. This is real science.